Hello, APCH community. I trust this finds you well. It's a joy to be able to give you a midweek, well, end of the week update. I haven't done this for quite a while. Uh, Lori and I had two wonderful weeks of vacation in Paris and Normandy. And before that, there were two weeks of work getting to prepare to go on vacation. And then after that, there were two weeks of work after having been on vacation, which all of you can appreciate. So I'm glad to be able to, uh, to do this once again. I miss uh, seeing you. I realize that more and more as a pastor with a pastor's heart, um, I miss even those brief times of touching base. How are you? Or it's good to see you. Um, I pray that that will be restored to us in the months ahead at some point in a good way. But for now, this is how we have to continue to communicate with the whole church. Things at APCH continue to go wonderfully. As you're well aware, um, we continue to have the socially distanced, masked, quieter worship service at the church at 945 and 1115 a.m. Last Sunday, there were about 40 people at each of the services. They come to worship and Pastor Chad and John Bacher and the singers and musicians bless us so that we can worship too, whether in the church or whether at home or wherever we are, and we give great thanks for that. After the worship services, many of those who are there are able to go out on the lawn or on the sidewalk and catch up with each other, which is a great gift. It's a taste of um, the wonderful gift of the whole community doing that, which we enjoyed uh, for so long and are now temporarily unable to do. Others of you participate by computer or via an app, and uh, we're grateful that you continue to be a part of the APCH community in that way too. As you know, we're moving toward live streaming, meaning that you'll be able to watch the video uh, concurrently, right as the church is worshiping at 945. But there are two things about that I want to mention. One is that for those of you who are attending the services, please note that because we're, we're filming this and then putting the recording online, uh, and because eventually we'll be hoping, hopefully live streaming, uh, you may be on the, the video. Uh, even it may be the back of your head on the video, but you may be on the video. I don't mean, by the way, for this um, to have you then say, well, I better make the back of my head look good. That's not why I'm saying this. Um, I'm saying this because if you would rather not be on, the back, on, on a video, even the back of your head, um, then let the ushers know and they can put you... Um, on the back, in the outsides, or in places where uh, you won't appear on the video. It's just for those who would, would feel especially like they would rather not for that to happen. Um, for those of you who do receive the services online in one way or other, know that we're working hard to live stream, but it's going to require that Ziggo um, has a ditch dug uh, under or across the street from APCH, so they can get a new cable there. The current cable is corrupt. Um, Rude and, um, and John Ricketts are working hard at getting that accomplished. We don't know how soon or how long it, it will be, but we're looking forward to that. In the meantime, Irene and John record the service at 945, then go to the manse or to some other member's house right nearby the church, upload it onto the uh, internet and then send it out in one way or other so we can participate. If for some reason or other there's a problem with the 945 service, then they do their best to stay for 1115 and then it delays it all a little bit more. So in this interim time, when we can't do live streaming and then have the recording available immediately, um, it, it, there may be some glitches, but we're thankful for your patience and for the hard work of uh, John and Irene and others who do the recording for us. Many things beyond that are happening at APCH too. We had a council meeting last uh, Tuesday night as uh, Tim Messick 
let us again in reporting on all the things we're doing and making some important decisions. John and uh, the welcoming team are connecting with a number of new guests, uh, new friends that are coming to worship with us. Anna Maria and the children's discipleship team and teachers and helpers are planning on beginning Sunday school early in September. Take note of the bulletins, the newsletters that Sheila sends out every Thursday to keep on track about that. Pastor Chad and Lisa and the youth discipleship team are planning on the youth groups beginning the first Sunday of, of September. Again, um, make sure you look for that in the newsletter. Miriam and, uh, and Hannah and the lay pastoral care team continue to care for and visit as they are able those who are sick or needing uh, some help. Laura and the adult discipleship team are planning on beginning of uh, life groups, small groups uh, this fall, and we pray that that will grow to connect us, whether by Zoom or whether in in-house meetings. And Ariane and uh, the treasurer, Margie, report that they're so grateful that even though we've had the normal um, the last month or two summer lull a little bit in giving, although not terribly so, and there's also been a, a little bit less spending because of COVID, uh, they're so grateful, and we with them, the whole council and church rejoices that there's been so much generosity that we can continue the ministry here because so much ministry does continue at APCH. And we thank you for your gifts. And if you're not able to, um, to come to worship and give, uh, you can join with so many of us in giving online if you're able to support the ministry of God through APCH, for which we give great thanks. One of the things I hope to work on uh, in the next few weeks is to add uh, every other week or so a midweek encouragement to pray, um, a video sent out much like this. With the shorter worship services, which we need to do for the sake of uh, safety and health, it means sometimes that prayer gets shortchanged a little bit, uh, but it can't in the life of the church. And so I hope to, every other week or so, send out a brief video and encouragement to pray, um, a reflection on some aspect of the church or her ministry or our own needs uh, to pray for, and then conclude it with a, a prayer as well. Um, so pray with me in those as I send them out, if you will. God bless your uh, weekend. Um, one of the updates that wasn't able to get in in the newsletter um, yesterday is that one of our wonderful senior saints, Trudy Vandermeulen, fell yesterday and broke her hip. She anticipates having surgery today. So pray for Trudy um, that the surgery will go well and that God will restore her uh, quickly, we pray. God bless your weekend and uh, and pray with me. Let's pray. Life-giving, gracious God, thank you again for the gift of this medium that helps us stay connected together as your church during this strange time of separation. Hear this whole update as a prayer for you by your presence and spirit to continue to bless us as your people and to continue to bless the ministries of APCH and all who will lead them, serve in them, and participate. Keep us all in your care. Specifically, we pray for Trudy and her anticipated surgery today. Bless the surgery and her healing, we pray. And bless all those in the church who need prayer for healing and patience and hope during this time. Keep us in health. Destroy the effects of this virus. Through your gifts in people and companies around the world, we pray for a vaccine or a cure. And while this strange season in life continues, by your Spirit, Lord Jesus, within each of us, help us grow well as your disciples in the situations we now find ourselves in. For your glory and our joy and for the blessing of people all around, in Christ's name we pray, amen. It's good to be with you for this time. God bless and keep and lead you.